Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering Shailu's Updates. Pile Foundation. This video has been requested by one of our subscribers. So I am glad to present it with you all. Foundation is the lowest part of the building or the civil structure that is in direct contact with the soil which transfers loads from structure to the soil safely foundation supports and anchors the superstructure of a building generally foundation can be classified into shallow foundation and deep foundation When the depth of foundation is less than or equal to the width of foundation that is df by bf is less than or equal to 1 then the foundation is called as shallow foundation it transfers the load at shallow depth shallow foundations are suitable up to a depth of about 1.5 meter when the depth of foundation is more than the width of foundation that is df by bf is greater than 1 then the foundation is called as deep foundation deep foundations extended up to hard strata below the ground surface having a depth of more than 1.5 meter pile foundation is a kind of deep foundation is actually a slender column or long cylinder made of materials such as concrete or steel which are used to support the structure and transfer the load at desired depth either by end bearing or skin friction when the structural load is less or moderate it is very much economical to use shallow foundation where the underlying weak soil is able to bear the loads but when the structural loads are large and heavy the underlying weak soil will not able to bear the heavy loads which causes settlement and damages to the structure pile foundation is the best choice it transfers the heavy loads through the underlying weak soil to the hard strata it consists of piles that are dug into the soil these foundations transfer the building load to the bearing soil with a better load carrying capability now let's see why pile foundations are used in some areas groundwater table rises so high that the use of other foundation will be affected badly in such situation pile foundation can be easily penetrated through the water and extended until a hard stratum is reached in some areas where settlement issues are common due to soil liquefaction or water table issues pile foundation is a better choice do you know what causes liquefaction in soil liquefaction takes place when loosely packed water locked sediments at or near the ground surface lose their strength in response to strong ground shaking why soil liquefaction is important due to liquefaction the strength and stiffness of the liquefied soil are significantly decreased often resulting in a variety of structural failures pile foundation is necessary to resist the 
uplift forces created due to rise in water table or in other cause uplift forces are more common in the construction of transmission towers and offshore platforms these structures definitely need pile foundations structures might be subjected to horizontal forces also that would bring effect to the foundation the use of pile foundation helps in resisting this bending action along with supporting the vertical load coming over the foundation hence pile foundation is needed for the construction of earth water retaining structures and building structures highly subjected to lateral forces that is earthquake and wind forces pile foundation is the best choice where soil erosion is there pile foundation is suggested if the structure is located near seashore area construction of foundation in black cotton soil is very risky due to its swelling and shrinkage property and also its bearing capacity is very less in such cases pile foundations are used under rim piles are specially designed for black cotton soil black cotton soil swells when in contact with moisture and shrinks when it is dry and under rim piles are used in the foundation to remove these defects these are the reasons why pile foundations are used based on materials used pile foundations are classified as steel piles timber piles composite piles sand piles and concrete piles first let us see about steel piles types of steel piles commonly used are h piles pipe piles the first one shows closed in pipe pile and second one shows open in pipe pile the third type of steel piles is screw pile and the fourth one is disc piles these are the types of steel piles timber pile these are the examples of timber pile foundation composite pile composite pile is a combination of two different materials they are driven one over the other so as to enable them to act together to perform the function of a single pile sand pile concrete pile based on construction method pile foundation is classified into driven pile board pile agar cast pile franki pile and sheet pile driven pile foundation they are used in low rise buildings 
and mainly in bridge constructions when the top soil is not in good condition and when it does not have the adequate bearing capacity to resist the load from the superstructure a driven pile is used bore pile foundation it is commonly used foundation for supporting heavy vertical loads the construction of the bore pile is divided into two phases drilling phase and construction phase in drilling phase the soil is removed to form a hole of the required diameter and depth while during the construction phase the reinforced concrete is poured inside therefore board piles are also called as replacement piles agar cast pile foundation it is a type of drilled foundation and it is based on both end bearing and friction based agar cast piles are installed by rotating a continuously flighted hollow shaft agar into the soil to a specified depth high strength cement grout is pumped under pressure through the shaft as the agar is slowly withdrawn reinforcing steel is added as per pile specifications franky pile foundation franky piles also known as pressure injected footings or high capacity cast in place elements are constructed using a drop weight and casing sheet pile foundation sheet piles or sections of sheet materials with interlocking edges that are driven in the ground to maintain the earth retention and provide excavation support sheet piles are usually made of steel but can also be made of wood or reinforced concrete based on structural behavior pile foundations are classified into end bearing pile friction pile compaction pile tension pile anchor pile fender pile and batter pile end bearing pile end bearing piles pass through weak soil and rest on strong soil layer hence behaving like a column that is why this type of pile is designed similar to a reinforced concrete column in the picture soft material means soft soil and rock means hard strata friction pile this type of pile utilizes the frictional resistance force between pile surface and adjacent soil to transfer the superstructure load compaction pile when a pile is inserted into granular soil to increase the bearing capacity of the soil it is called a compaction pile sand piles are commonly used as compaction piles in which a pipe is inserted into the ground so that the soil around the pipe undergoes a lateral movement and compaction of the soil occur then the pipe is slowly pulled out and filled with sand this is how the sand piles are prepared 
tension pi when a structure feels uplifted due to ground water pressure or due to overturning movement tension pile is used to keep the structure attached to the ground in such cases a pile tensile strain is generated anchor pile fender pile and batter pile anchor pile when a pile is used to provide anchorage against the shear pull of a sheet pile or other type of pulling force it is called an anchor pile fender pile a pile that is used to protect a structure in the sea from damage caused by abrasion or collision of a ship is called fender pile such piles are usually made of wood batter pile when the pile is inserted into the ground to prevent horizontal force or transverse force it is batter pile i hope this video helps you a lot if you like this video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future thank you